To manage your OneNote class notebooks, it's a good idea to either delete old notebooks from decades ago that you know you're not going to use anymore or that you have already have the content library of that notebook in other notebooks, or another way to do this is to remove students from your notebook as well as delete their content. This will reduce the file size of that notebook so that you don't have huge notebooks decade after decade taking up a lot of space in your OneDrive. So to get started, you need to log into Office 365 online. I'm going to do this through ClassLink by clicking on this icon. And once I have landed successfully into Office 365, I should see a page that looks like this. You're going to go ahead and click on the App Launcher, and you're going to select Class Notebook. Once you select Class Notebook, it's going to bring you to a page that looks similar to this one. So what we're going to do in this case is we're going to add or remove students. So when I select add or remove students, what it's now doing is it's going to populate a list of all of the notebooks to which I am an administrator or teacher of. So I need to select the notebook where I want to remove my students. And then uh, you can see here I have a list of all of the students that are in this course, in this notebook. So to remove students, to remove their access, you just click on the X and this will remove their access to the notebook. However, this does not delete the content to your notebook from the students and that's the part that's taking up a lot of space. So if you'd like to delete the content from their notebook, you also need to check off this option next to their name. Now, fair warning, this is not something I would suggest you do until the school year is completely over, meaning finals are over. And I would also give the students the opportunity, if they wanted to before you did this, to save a copy of the notebook to their own OneDrive, which you can see how to do in another one of my videos. So once you have checked off all of the students' content that you want to delete, if you want to keep one or two students' content, just as an example, you can do that. But by doing this option, this will reduce the file size of your notebook dramatically. So I'm going to click Next on this. It's going to ask if this is exactly what I want to do because there is no one doing this once it's done. And I'm going to click Update. So now OneDrive is in the process of deleting those students completely from my notebook. And if the students actually try to access that notebook anymore from OneDrive, they will be prevented from doing so. So this was the first steps on how to manage some of your OneNote class notebooks.